Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Trues, episode, I guess, 11 and a half. Well, I tried to do the right thing, return the book on time, pick up <laughs> a new book, and what happened was they gave me this book, uh, oh, this book again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> The Afterlife of Bill Billy Fingers, which is one of my favorites. Uh, that's someone's birthday. Thank you! During my show. <laughs> Uh, two lights, <laughs> two universes passing in the light. My moodiness returned to the following morning, but mood swings were a price I was now willing to pay. I couldn't wait to hear from Billy again. Days passed with no sign. Was he gone? Had his voice become so faint that it was impossible for me to hear him? Ten days later at dawn, I saw an oval-shaped blue light hovering high above my bed. I knew it was Billy. I focused on the light, and soon I could hear his voice, which had become even more lingorious than before. This is Billy. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> I know I sound further away, but if you concentrate, you'll be able to hear me. The more you listen, the more you'll be able to hear. I'm feeling quite nostalgic. You sometimes feel that after you're dead. Nostalgia. But no more neuralgia. Arthritis. <laughs> fibromyalgia. <laughs> None of those other algas plague you up here in heaven. Did I say heaven? I guess I did. <laughs> I was floating all alone, enjoying becoming the universe. And what happens? Along comes Ingrid, my first wife. Not my first way. <laughs> I can convey the joy, which is way too small a word to describe. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> that I experienced when I got... I, I am balancing the book, the computer, <laughs> everything on one knee. <laughs> That's the knee on the bottom. <laughs> In my parents' bathroom. Hello. <laughs> Last time I saw her, we were both on Earth, and she was on morphine, dying of cancer. Oh, Ingrid was now also becoming the universe. Her suns and moons and stars were arranged in a constellation that resembled the shape of a woman. She was doing this very feminine dance of love, moving her gorgeous starry hips back and forth as she circled around my universe with hers. Ingrid has always been quite a seductress. <laughs> Seeing her like that almost tempted me right back into the body again. Almost. <laughs> as soon as I saw this dancing universe, I knew right away it was her. I think each soul has its own particular qualities. And when you've been really close to someone, you recognize their soul, no matter what form it takes. <laughs> Ingrid's soul wasn't old or young, just what you might call ageless. As she got closer, I could see that the stars in her universe reflected different phases of Ingrid and her story. All the ages and stages of her life were there. In one star, I saw an innocent blonde baby digging up sand on a beach. On another, a scantily dressed teenage Ingrid danced on stage in Las Vegas. God, she was gorgeous. There was a star that showed her strung out on cocaine and one of her doing time in jail. I can see that's where she got her mean streak. Then there was my favorite Ingrid, my voluptuous Swedish bride, looking at me with those big green eyes of hers. <laughs> Like it was the whole world. Ingrid, the crazy tigress, with the hair trigger temper, woo, was also there in the stars. But it was blended in, so it didn't seem so bad. Just laughs. laughs. Shining through all these different aspects of Ingrid was her soul. And her soul was, without question, the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I never even had a vague idea of her divine magnificence when we were alive. If I could have seen the ravishing beauty of Ingrid's soul while I was alive, I would have been so overwhelmed, I don't think I could have functioned. But here, I'm just drifting in space, floating around, becoming the universe. And there's nothing, really, I have to do, except go to a 4th of July party right now and be the photographer. <laughs> truth! Happy truth! <laughs> Happy Independence Day! Love you all! Kiss kiss! Signing off. <laughs>